Eagles got through the Chiefs, the Cowboys, and the confidence in that locker room is where it needs to be for a team that is hopeful to clinch a playoff spot. Now, statistically speaking, they should be able to beat the Chargers, although it is a short week. But this is a team that lost 63-21 to the Raiders last week. And despite firing their head coach, general manager, and relying on a backup quarterback, Buffalo's head coach, Sean McDermott, says anyone can really, though, win in this league. There's going to be a lot of unknowns when we head out there. Um, so we've got to make sure, again, that we um, are playing good team football. We're all disciplined the way we need to be disciplined and, and focused where we need to be focused. And um, I think that's a that's a big part of, uh, of, of the challenge this week. Now Buffalo sits ninth in the AFC playoff picture. Four other teams who are eight and six remain in front after week 15. That part does suck. Don't, don't get me wrong, but... Again, we're not we're not paying much attention to that. You know, we gotta we gotta control what we can control, and that's Saturday night against the uh, the Chargers. And an injury update from today: defensive tackle Daquan Jones, who was placed on injured reserve in Week Five with a pec injury, he returned to practice today. McDermott did say it's unlikely you'll see him on the field come Saturday, but of course that is big news for the defense if he can get on the field by the end of the season or if they make that playoff run. Reporting from One Drive, Brianna Aldridge, Seven Sports.